all things quick. So back at it with another video today. Today we're gonna try to get this car kind of tied up a little bit with the exhaust here. I'm gonna finish the full exhaust on this thing. I'm actually gonna use the 330 exhaust that is sitting there with the muffler and all that. We're gonna use the stock exhaust for this setup. Basically what I need is I need this Y pipe here and then I'm gonna use this full exhaust here and mount that Y pipe to this thing. I have a flex pipe that I just bought so that we can use that so it's not one rigid piece. If I have time, I would like to get the oil feed and drain going into that turbo, but we'll see about that. Have to get the wastegate dump valve done. Got to get the full exhaust made. Then we need, we need oil feed, oil drain. From that point, it's just working on fuel. Got to set all that stuff up and we'll see what we can get done today. So I'm just going to take that turbo off now just so that I'm not spinning that turbo without any oil going through it and then I'm gonna move the car over to here so that we can get wrenching on it so I literally just got the car this far here all of a sudden I just started to have misfires randomly and I got out and I was like what the heck is this going on here cuz I didn't have misfires last time well what do you know right here look at that that boots not on we're gonna figure this out and then get this thing on get rid of that misfire there cuz I can't even move the car to where I need it to because it keeps banging and misfiring and all that stuff so yeah, I just erased those codes I'm just gonna see if I can actually get this thing going oh my god flipping battery there's no way okay got my truck hooked up Let's see the bit this here there we go stupid man like hopefully that stays running So that was running way longer than I wanted it to, so everything's gonna be crazy hot. I already burnt my finger once when I was taking that pipe off of the manifold there. It's good to be able to diagnose what's going on with your car. So, you know, like this, I didn't question. I was like, right away, I was like, there's definitely a vacuum leak somewhere because I didn't have a misfire before. And it was misfire with fuel cutoff, meaning that it is vacuum. So anyways, got that figured out, got this thing buttoned on. Fuel pressure regulator's not on, so that's why it was running a little rough, but that's okay. Right now gonna let that cool down and then going to get this exhaust kind of built up I'm gonna take these pipes out of there and then do a little cutting and welding real quick I'm gonna jack this thing up I'm gonna take this old exhaust off the mid pipe underneath because it only goes from the flange back to where the muffler used to be and we need to have a muffler on this so I'm gonna jack this thing up unbolt the exhaust that's on there right now underneath and then weld and bolt that one up car is jacked up right now you can see right here that the pipe goes from the front to these brackets and then out there and then the muffler is cut off so I could just weld the muffler to that but that's a full exhaust I have behind the shed there so I'm gonna unbolt this I was wanting to use this one actually though because I mean I don't know I wanted to use this one because it's already a straight pipe and then just put a muffler on the thing but so I ended up taking that exhaust pipe out there I just didn't like how there's such little bends in here from whoever made this pipe and not the greatest welds either so anyways I'm gonna use this 330 exhaust from this parts car over there everything's sealed up on this thing which is good I'm going to cut these flanges off right here and I'm gonna cut that Y pipe off of that thing there weld it to that and then put that flex pipe in there where Wherever it needs to go that's the order of business right now so I got this Y pipe cut it's a little bit wide I can probably separate that a little bit pull it apart just a little bit wide that's that that's cut I shouldn't have pulled that off right away I should have cut that first and then fit it on this car to see the angle I needed on that but whatever okay I'm just loading my compressor here I'm gonna take this wheel off I'm gonna put this exhaust back on I put the other one back on it because it was lighter this one's gonna end up staying in place anyway so I mean this one I'm gonna have to bolt it on because this is the one that's going on and then then I'll tack the Y pipe on there and then I'll take it back off, finish the weld, and then bolt it back up and then it can stay there. So that was the task in a half. I got the exhaust mounted up and it's just sitting on blocks back there, roughly in the position it will be in. And I'm just gonna see where this Y pipe needs to sit, tack it in place, and then pull this whole thing back off again. Fun. So it turns out that I have enough room to weld it on pretty much flush with those flanges there. I'm going to weld that.
literally nobody in this entire city had regular exhaust flanges, so I had to get these things. I got two different ones, but basically what I'm gonna use is one on here, weld it to that thing, one on this thing, weld it back here on this thing, and then I'm gonna use some drive shaft bolts, go between these things and crank those two pipes down together. This one though, I need to drill this out a little bit just to make that hole bigger for that, because this one it fits fine, this one it doesn't, so I'm gonna drill these holes and then I'm gonna get to welding these things and then I can from that point make my full down pipe from the turbo and then meet up with the full exhaust. Once I can do that, basically the exhaust portion of the down pipe and the full exhaust is done. It will just be the dump valve going over top of the manifold and meeting in with that pipe there. We're gonna see how that's all gonna fit together. Still a decent amount of work to do, but gonna get to it. So this one cranked down really good on here and like there's no play whatsoever in that thing. Got some lock washers on that and this one has to be welded in place. I've set it up this way so that the flange will line up like that far enough away that the bolts will go through and actually be able to do something. So here's this all welded up. That's gonna mount like that with this pipe and then be able to crank that thing down. This is not in the orientation that I need it per se. We'll see, I might have to cut up a couple things but this needs to go to the down pipe so we need to cut this up and make it work. Just jacked up this exhaust here. I put it on the mount right there. I just have the bolts just barely in there, finger tight. The exhaust is in place. I have to bolt it up in the middle. Also, I just noticed that my towel is on fire from welding so. That's interesting. So you gotta be careful or else this will happen to the cloth that you're sitting on when you're welding. So make sure, make sure that you're being careful today. I've got this whole exhaust mounted up here. Got the flex thing on here. I actually got a pipe welded together. Again, it's not pretty, but it's welded to this down pipe flange here. That's one piece now. So I'm just trying to bolt that up to see if it will bolt up. Hopefully it does. And then we can mount the turbo and see if everything's good with that. So I've literally been going at this for a while now I'm kind of getting tired of it this is my final piece this is really dank like doesn't look good at all so I've made two marks right here I'm gonna drill two holes and put two o2 bungs on there and those will be for my wide band and my narrow band pretty much the only spot that you can put them So that would have been the end of welding that exhaust there, but this guy gave me the wrong O2 bung. That one's way too big. That one's the right size. I have to finish that later, which kind of sucks. So for tonight, that's it. I'm just gonna put this wheel back on, clean up everything, and I'm gonna pull this car back into its spot. I'm very tired and I'm gonna continue this another day. I'm just cleaning up here and getting ready to go for the night, but we'll be back to this car soon again. But I'm just gonna swap out a couple tires. This side up so I figure I'll swap this out anyways. This tire on this side is flat so I'm gonna swap that and then I only have three tires to swap right now but they're not all the same either. It's whatever just a new look. So anybody that knew my last car you'd know that these are my old wheels. I only have one of these I actually have three rims because I broke one of these rims when I smashed a curb drifting but this wheel is the only one that's like that in the front and I put this one on the back. It's a stock black wheel it was silver but I ended up painting them black a while ago and then the front is still a spare just a little cleaner looking I'm just wrapping up for tonight for now this is the end of this video we're gonna get back to this another day and we're gonna finally finish up this exhaust stuff so if you like that video definitely hit that subscribe button because there's more to come with this turbo setup and hit that like button let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments don't forget to join our discord link in the description and we'll see you in the next one see you later